Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to keep your Windows version at the current version you're on and not to upgrade to the next version until you absolutely have to. So many people are complaining about the 24H2 update for Windows 11 and want to stay on 23H2 instead. And so if you're not paying attention, Windows will actually go ahead and download and install the 24H2 update for you. So for example, let's say you clicked on check for updates and you didn't notice it was in the list and you just clicked on install to install everything that showed up, uh, then you might be stuck with it. And then if you do do that, you'll have 10 days to roll back to the previous version. But if you don't do that, then you'll be stuck on it. All right, so what we're going to do is a registry edit here. And so what this will do is it will keep it on 23H2 until 24H2 is absolutely required. So this won't prevent it forever, but it will stop it until you have to install 24H2. And then you could also use this for other versions too. So if you put in 22H2 right here, uh, you could have it stay on that as well until you have to upgrade. All right, so this was sent to me by a colleague, so I'm just testing it out. So on this computer, I did the 24H2 download. I started the installation process, and then I realized I wanted to stop it. And so what I did was I just paused it, and I came back in, applied this registry edit here, and then when I check for updates, it's not bugging me about it. So let's check again here. So you can see we're doing some other updates, but the 24H2 is not showing up. And by the way, so if you are in the middle of downloading 24H2 and you want to stop it, you could come here and pause it. You know, just come here and click on pause for a week or just do the drop down, do two weeks, for example. That will stop the update from downloading. And then you could apply this fix or you could apply this fix before that actually happens. All right, so. Let's go back to the registry files here. So there's one to add the registry entry and then one to undo it. So here's what the add registry does. And here's where you put the value you want for the version you want to stay at. And then here's what the undo option does. Pretty much just clears it out and you'll be back to uh, downloading whatever is available. All right, so to add it, just simply double click on the keep 23H2 registry file. I've already done it on this computer, but it's not going to hurt to do it again. Click on Run, say Yes, and then click on Yes to add it to the registry, and then OK. And then if you want to undo it, you can just do the same thing with the Undo Keep 23H2 registry file. So like I said, this was sent to me, and so far it's working. And I'll have to keep an eye on it, of course, to make sure the 24H2 option is not there uh, next time I check for updates. Let's do it one more time just for fun. All right, so so far it's looking good. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download these two files. And then if you do want to end up doing your upgrade, uh, you could just run the undo file here. And then that should allow 24H2 or whatever version you're pausing to continue. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.